doing ears oh I hope I didn't scare you there welcome back welcome back welcome back to another episode of our scuffed beginner friendly tutorial series today we're gonna be working on air physics so today we're gonna be setting up our air physics for XYZ as well as our blinking we're gonna first delve into our warp deformers and our parameters and then we'll be going over rigging the general physics, setting it up in our physics menu. We'll then start working on our idle animation and we'll set up the parameters and the warp deformers and then we'll rig in those keyforms and we'll go into our animation menu today, which will be exciting. And then lastly, we're going to work on our brow sync. So our ears are going to be expressive. So when we raise our eyebrows, up, our ears will go up, and then down, our ears will go down. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're going to set up, and then after that we'll export it all out, we'll save our file and everything, chuck it into VTube Studio, the documents for VTube Studio, like the assets and resources, and we will set everything up in here, and that will be it for today's video. So yeah, let's get stuck in, let's go, let's work on these ears. <laughs> okay. Let's do it! Let's do it! Air physics. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with this ear. I'm just going to grab all of these pieces for this ear and chuck it in a warp deformer. I have piercings, so I'm going to chuck them in their own warp deformer too. Basically, we're just segmenting our ear into different warps. I have my inner fluff and I also have my shading. First things first, I am going to grab the back of my ear. So it's this skin section that makes up the back of my ear. So I'm going to grab the back of my ear, copy the ID, so control C, and grab your ear fluff this bit and paste the ID and do the same for the fluff shading so now both of these are now clipped inside the back of the ear my ear is going to be sectioned into this part the big main part of the ear along with the piercings so I'm going to grab my piercings my back ear my ear line and my top ear so all of this and I'm going to create a warp and this is going to be called ear main create I'm also going to create a warp deformer for the fluff of my ear and it's going to be called ear fluff we have the warp deformer for our whole ear we have the warp deformer for our ear fluff and we have the warp deformer for our main part of our ear. In terms of parameters, I have created um, an ear physics folder. So to do that you'll just right click, create folder, double click and I just renamed it ear physics. Just like that. So I have got eight parameters here. I have got the ranges of negative 30 minimum, default zero, maximum 30. I've left all of the IDs and I have done this for all eight parameters. And basically if we look at the ear as sectioned into two parts, so our fluff on the inside and then the rest of our ear, so our main ear, we're going to need two parameters per section. Because we're going to be focusing on the main ear and then the ear tip of our main ear, we're going to be focusing on the main physics of the ear fluff. 
and then also the tip of the ear fluff. And the reason why we have eight is because it is two parameters per section and it is for both ears. I've named it main ear for this ear, main ear for this ear, ear tip for this ear, ear tip for this ear. This is fluff main. And then fluff main for this ear. Fluff tip for this ear. And then fluff tip for this ear. For our warp deformer, which is ear main, so this one, you can either use the same warp deformer for both parameters. If you do use the same warp deformer for both parameters, make sure that you synthesize corners when you have all of your keyforms on here. What I'm going to do personally is I prefer to have uh, one warp deformer per parameter for the ears. Um, this is because it gives, uh, in my opinion, a better movement and more control. So we have all of these ear pieces as well as our piercings under the ear main warp deformer. So let's just create another warp deformer, call it ear tip. And make sure that it is the child of the ear main warp deformer, so it's underneath like this. And then all of this is underneath the ear tip warp deformer. And this just means that the ear main will be in charge of like the main movement and ear tip uh, won't interfere with the ear main movement. After you've done that, just grab your ear fluff, create another warp deformer, and I'm going to call it fluff tip. And again, make sure it's the child of the main ear fluff warp deformer. So now you can see we have four warp deformers and we have four parameters for this ear. Subsequently, we will have four warp deformers for this ear as well as four parameters for this ear. If your ears are symmetrical, you can just rig one ear and then you can copy and paste it and flip it like I've shown in my eye rigging and eye physics tutorial video. I am just going to rig them both individually because I have piercings and because I've um, already rigged my X and Y angles for my ears. So let's do our keyforms. So ear main is going to have three keyforms on this parameter. Ear tip is going to have three keyforms on this parameter. Ear fluff and then the fluff tip and then do the same for your other ear okay so I've just finished doing my warp deformers for both ears as well as putting all the keyforms on the parameters so we can start off by grabbing our ear main for this ear I'm gonna hold control and click on this ear too for ear main now you can either work on them individually uh, but I'm going to work on them both at the same time. For our main ear, this is where we're going to have a big movement where our ear sways left and right. So let's just start off with positive 30. And just drag it to the right. I kind of like it to look like the base of the ear isn't moving too much. It's like the rest of it that isn't grounded to the scalp that moves. Then you can do the same for the other side. So negative 30. I'm 
just gonna go up here, select extended interpolation, and do that for both of these. Ellipse interpolation. So we. We're just going to work on our ear tip now. We're going to do the same thing as we did for the main ear parameters, except we're just going to focus on the edge. So this tip part of the ear on each side. So go to positive 30, and I'm going to increase the conversion divisions to about 10. So let's just start creating a little bit of movement. And then do the same for negative 30. Okay, so now we have finished setting up our main ear and our ear tips. So now we can work on our fluff mane and our fluff tip. So we're going to do pretty much the same thing that we did to the main part of the ear, except we're going to do this to the fluffy part of the ear. Positive 30. And now you can work on the fluff tip. Okay, so we have the fluff mane, and then the fluff tip. So we've just done rigging, so we're going to go into our modeling and open physics scene learning settings. We're just going to create a new group, so let's go add, we're going to go air physics with that arrow which corresponds to this air and the parameters that we rigged so name air physics arrow we're going to leave the input preset and physics model presets as we're going to set it up ourselves go okay and here let's just go add we're going to need to add our angle x y z and also our i r open and then go okay and the reason why it is IR open is because technically this is from the model's perspective. So this is technically the right ear. And make sure that IR open is set to angle. So angle X and angle Y are both position based for the type. And angle Z and IR open are both angle based. And we're going to make the effectivity add up for 100 for both the position and angle. So let's set angle X to 60. Angle Y to 40. Oh, make sure to press enter. <laughs> angle Z is going to be 60. And then IR open is going to be 40. We also need to adjust the normalization of input. We're only going to do this for angle, so let's change that to negative 30 and positive 30 to get the maximum amount of range uh, for the parameters that we rigged. And let's add some pendulums 
and I'm gonna roughly adjust these. Output settings. And let's add those parameters that we rigged for this ear. So we have main ear, ear tip, fluff main, and fluff tip. All for the arrow pointing to this ear. And then go OK. And now let's adjust the scale as this is currently on the default scale. So the main ear opposed to the ear tip is going to have more scale. So let's go with 40, 35, 40, and 35. And we can adjust it accordingly if it is a little bit too much. And now the reason why it looks a little bit awkward is because uh, we need the main parts, so main ear and fluff main to be set on pendulum 1. And then we need the ear tip and the fluff tip to be on pendulum 2. And this typically happens when you uh, add the outputs after you create the pendulums, but there's an easy fix, you just double click and then retype 1. So you can see that it's on the correct pendulums. So this is how it looks now. What you can do is you can duplicate this folder, or this group, sorry. And you can change the arrow, referring to this ear instead. So we've now duplicated it. And just change all your outputs. And make sure that you change IR open to IL open. And let's just go back to this ear group and we'll need to reflect angle Y and IR open. And uh, we just reflect that over so that it synchronizes uh, the twitching and the movement so that it moves in sync. Okay, so I've just finished playing around with all these settings. I ended up increasing the scale to 40 for all of them. Um, duration was 10 for both, shaking is around 0.9, reaction 1, and overall acceleration 1. You just need to play around with these because it's uh, subjective to the model, but this is the look we've got in the end. It's nice and wavy, nice and fluid. I really like it. Um, if you don't like this look, you can either increase or decrease the scale, or adjust your parameters. But yeah, this is what we've ended up with for the physics. Air idle animation. The next portion of our video, we are now going to move on to our idle animation. So let's exit this. I have created an air idle folder. This folder has four parameters. We've got idle ear pointing to this ear, idle ear pointing to this ear, we've got idle fluff pointing to this ear, and then idle fluff which is pointing to this ear. And all parameters have the ranges of negative 30 to positive 30 with default 0. Uh, you don't need to worry about the ID, then just go OK. And once you've set up those parameters you can move on to your warp deformers. So we're going to have a deformer for each part, so our main ear is going to have a deformer on top of it as the parent. So we're going to call this ear idle. And you can see that it is the parent of the ear main and the ear tip for this main section of the ear. And then our ear floof, so our fluffy bit, is also going to have a ear idle fluff. So that is the parent for our ear fluff and our fluff tip warp deformers. So we're going to have two warp deformers for our ear idle per ear. So do the same for the other ear now.
And after you've done that, you can select on the warp deformers and create keyforms on the corresponding parameters. And now we're going to start warping those warp deformers on our keyforms. So what we're going to do for this section is pretty much you can warp your ear idle. For this ear for example, you go positive 30 like we did with the other one and you just drag it like so. And then like the opposite way you would drag it down here. Again, that's just <laughs> very rough. Yeah, so you wouldn't do the ear tip. So it's exactly like the ear physics with the main ear and the main fluff for the idle ear and then the idle fluff. But I've just found out a way to copy all of this rigging that we did and then move it all to these parameters. So I'm just gonna try that now. I'm going to create a more complex ear idle animation that does have the ear tip rigging in it because um, yeah, I do wanna see what it will look like with that. So I'm just going to create more parameters. So we have eight like these ones. So it's basically gonna be the exact same thing, but we won't have to do all the rigging again. I'm just gonna go replicate, rename it, idle tip ear. And then do the same with this one. Replicate, rename, idle tip ear. And then we want the same for the fluff. So replicate, edit, idle tip fluff. And then do the same for this one. Replicate, edit, idle tip fluff. So I'm going to select my main ear, this ear, for our ear physics, select. So we've got our ear main, copy this, warp deformer, so control C, and then control V. This one, the child of ear idol. And you can see that we've kept the main ear. And we've also kept the idle ear. The trick to this is to make the ear main a child of this warp deformer once you've changed over to the other parameter. So I'm just going to do that for all the other parameters. Okay, so now what we've done is we have basically copy and pasted these deformers for these parameters. Uh, we renamed them. For example, the ear fluff is now ear idle fluff for the copy and pasted deformer. And we changed them to these parameters here. And then we made sure that they were the parent of the physics warp deformers. So the ear idle warp deformers are the parents of the ear physics warp deformers. Okay, so you can see here that we kept all of these for our ear physics. They are still on these parameters. So they're all the same. And we moved them we copied them and moved them onto these parameters here. I have never done this before.
I was just curious whether it would work and I somehow <laughs> managed to make it work so I saved myself a lot of time uh, having to re-warp all of those deformers um, that we did up here because they're literally just copy and pasted. Okay. So now we're going to create the idle animation. This is the fun part, we haven't really delved into animation that much, but first we just need to save our file. And now go up here and select animation. Click on this file in the project section and drag it down here to the timeline. And this will open the animation file. Select this SDK Unity, which is the default, and go OK. And it will pop up like this. What you can do is like just scroll out and adjust this. You can just uh, hold shift. Okay, so I will be going over these animation settings in another video. Um, I'm going to be doing like a coffee drink animation and a hand wave animation. As well as like a honey honey drip animation, um, a crying animation. So yeah, this is just the start of our animation uh, tutorials, I guess. <laughs> so first let's just drag this purple bar here. You can see if we drag it out, our model will disappear. We don't want our model to disappear throughout creating um, our animation because we want to be able to see what we're doing. So let's just drag that to the end of our timeline. This orange one is our timeline, so we're increasing the work area, so let's just drag that more as well, the duration. Just so we have more to work with. So you can click this button here, and this gives us a drop down of all of our parameters. So I'm just going to go live 2D parameters, and it's going to bring up all the ones that I have rigged. So if we scroll down, we can see our air physics and air idle. I'm going to close the air physics because we only need the air idle for this. Let's go to the start of our animation and you can right click on all of these to make sure that they're all at default zero on our timeline. If we created a dot over here, so you can hold control and delete those points um, or you can hold control plus to add them. That's just like a quick easy shortcut for adding these points along here. So the basic idea of this animation is that our ears are going to be twitching. So our right one will twitch every now and then, our left one will twitch every now and then, and then it will restart to the start of the animation. And we're going to try space it out enough so that it looks natural. I'm going to use these lines as a reference. So we're going to start dragging this and then the delay. You can also grab one, hold shift, grab the other one and just drag it to where you'd like. So we've just moved the main part of our ear and I like to move the little fluff bit. Um, kind of using the main part of the ear as a reference but um, we're going to make it so there's a delay. So idle fluff, we're moving it up and then the ear tip, and then the tip air delay as well. You can also control C and control V and you can copy those forms and then it's gonna spring back down.
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to space it out so that this ear twitches as well. Okay, so this is what we're working with. We have our right twitch and then our left twitch. Now I'm going to space them out so that it looks so that it looks more natural. I might just extend it a little bit so that it doesn't reset too soon to the initial animation. We have got this done and I'm, I think I'm happy with it. I might go back and change it later on. So file save and I'm just gonna call this idle animation ear and then go okay. Um, I might be adding to that idle animation this particular scene later on because um, I'm gonna be wanting some idle honey dripping animation. Um, so you can animate different parameters on the same animation for the idle animation. We're just going to save this file and come back to it later on. But we'll also need to go export for runtime and export motion file. And we don't need to change any of these, so just go OK. Call this one idle air animation. Make sure that it's a cubism motion file and then go OK. So we're going to move this into our export folder later on for VTube Studio, but we can just exit out of it for now. We can go back into our model file. Air Brow Synchronization. The final section of this video is going to be on ear expression. So it's going to be synced up with our eyebrows and it's going to be very expressive for our ears. So I've got a folder here called Ear Expressive and I've got two parameters. So the parameters are called ear expressive with the corresponding arrow for each ear, as you can see. And um, they have the ranges of negative 30 to positive 30 maximum, again with default zero. You don't have to worry about the ID and go OK. And after that, we'll need to create some warp deformers. So for this warp deformer, we're going to combine the whole ear. So the fluff and the rest of the ear. So let's grab these two warp deformers. Expressive ear with the arrow. Make sure that it's a parent of these warp deformers. And do the same for the other ear. Create keyforms. So this one is slightly different from our other parameters that we have rigged. So for this one, when we go to positive 30, we want the ears to be tilting upwards, like we're happy when our eyebrows raise up. And then negative 30 is actually going to be the opposite. So it's going to be pulling downwards. So when we're sad or angry, our ears are going to move downwards in that expression. So let's drag up to positive 30 and rig that in. Okay, so we've just done that for both of our ears. Saving and exporting. So let's just save our file and we're going to export it out. And make sure that you put it into your VTube Studio folder in Steam or wherever you downloaded it from. And we're going to make sure that we open those files in VTube Studio. I've just exported it into my VTube Studio files and I dragged in the idle ear animation as well into that file. VTube Studio setup. Okay, so we are in VTube Studio. You can see that our ears are working. They wiggle when we go left and right, up and down. Like little butterfly wings. <laughs> Idle animation setup. Uh, so one final part that we need to do is we can just go into our settings. Settings. Go here to the cogwheel with the little person icon. And click on here, Idle animation. 
And here you'll be able to see the idle ear animation that we created if you put it into the right folder with the VTube Studio resources and assets. So then go select. Our ear now twitches every now and then. So we could be doing nothing at all and our ear would just do the little floppy thing. <laughs> I think that mine might be uh, twitching a bit too much, so you can go back into the timeline and change the timing of the animation along that timeline. Maybe drag it out a little bit. So yeah, it's just dependent on personal preference. Okay, brow sync setup. Now we can set up the expressive eyes. So let's just scroll all the way down. Boop, boop, boop. And let's add two of these, one for each ear. We're going to add the input as brow Y, wherever it is, brow left Y, and then add the corresponding output. So technically this one is left because it's from the VTuber model perspective, so we'll just do that. I'm just going to rename this actually to brow EXP. Do the same for this one. Oops. At the input as brow right way, and then do the output as this one that we read expressive ear pointing to this ear. Okay, so now this section here shows what our parameters are, uh, what our range is in live 2D cubism, and this is what we see here and what we'd like to change it to within VTube Studio and the program. But you can adjust it a little bit if you'd like, so like a uh, 0.8. You can adjust that later on, like uh, if you'd like your ears to move more with your expression. But I just wanted to show like a little basic rundown of it. I might go back in and make my ears go up more or down more with the expression. Other comments? But yeah, that is everything. Eee, ears. <laughs> Probably go back and fix some things up later on because I did uh, speed through it a little bit. <laughs> um, I just wanted to add um, that cutie dragon on YouTube was very informative. Please check them out, their links are in the description below. Um, I also chuck in some other videos that really helped me learn how to rig ears. There are also different videos for different animal ears like bunny ears, fox ears. I think mine is borderline cat fox. <laughs> it's meant to be cat ears but they're kind of foxy which I like. Um, there are also dog ears and they can flip. Like, you can toggle on a ear flip when it's sad, which is so cute. I want to do a tutorial on that in the future. But yeah, anyway, that's enough for this video, otherwise I will keep on talking. So we basically did a rundown of the physics for our ears. We set up um, an idle animation and as well as our expressive ear with our eyebrows. Yeah, and I also learned how to copy and paste parameters and the warp deformers and then change over those settings. So yeah, that was also a fun experiment. <laughs> I hope I explained it well. If you have any questions about it or anything in this video or in general, feel free to pop them down below and I'll try and help as best as, best as I can. I clearly cannot speak right now. <laughs> I need another coffee. But yeah, make sure you get some food, some water, uh, some coffee, some sleep if you need it. Check on some comfy clothes, gotta look after yourself, that's the most important thing. Um, we gotta look after each other as well, so yeah, if you need any help, let me know, and vice versa, if you have any tips, let me know. I am very interested in learning more, and feel free to join our Discord. We have a channel in the server that is about Live 2D. It's called Live 2D Tutorial Ideas, but honestly, anything Live 2D or rigging or VTuber related with setup, uh, pop it in there. 
feel free to also comment on this video. And I will stop talking and I'll let you get on with the rest of your day. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so, so much. Enjoy the rigging. It's meant to be fun. Getting that creative brain all wrinkly. Okay. I'll see you. Bye.